to the finals of India's biggest spelling competition, Classmate Spell Bee 2014, presented by Classmate, India's leading stationery brand. Powered by the Times of India, this is an initiative by Radio Mirchi. <laughs> the theme for the Classmate Spell Bee this year, every child is unique and so is every word, is centered around Classmate's core belief of celebrating uniqueness that encourages students to identify their talents and achieve success on their own terms. Speaking of success, the last four weeks have been nothing short of brilliant. We've seen some tough spelling challenges being overcome, but in the face of all of this spelling power, I couldn't help but wonder why English spellings and language should have to be so complex. In fact, I've been thinking about it so much that my angst with the language actually came out in verse. And it goes a little something like this. The language of English is more doublish than singlish in the number of faces it shows, a simple word to learn. For example, take earn, has two spellings, maybe more, who knows? And a word like tough is confusing enough and enough itself confuses for G and H together make for stormy weather with their thousand and one different uses. But then that's the beauty, which isn't spelt like duty, of this English language so great that a mastery of its knowledge, even before you're in college, makes you the ideal speller and classmate. <laughs> I have to admit, though, that despite all the hurdles of the English language, our final four spellers have treated us to some scintillating spelling. They've won their way in today's finals by vanquishing their contenders in four exciting semi-final rounds. Now let's take a look at our four finalists' road to the finals. G A N Y N E D E. That is correct. We do have a winner today, and that is Esther David from the Cathedral and John Connon School in Mumbai. P H O S P H O R E S C E. And you've won. V E R S A I L L E S. Versailles. That we do have a winner today, Soumya Malhotra from DPS Vasant Kunj in Delhi. R-A-T-A-T-O-U-I-L-L-E. Ratatouille. We do have today's winner, and it is Vashwati Das. I really feel awesome, and I feel a step closer to achieving my dream, just to win this again and take my mom to DC. It feels excellent. It was always more about the experience of um, making it to the finals, to the top 16. But now that I'm in the top four, it feels even better. I feel really happy because three years of back-breaking work and now I finally reached the finale. It means a great deal to me because spelling is what I do best. P-A-T-C-H-O-U-L-I Absolutely correct! E-M-P-H-Y-S-E-M-A Spot on! I'm a bit tense but at the same time elated that I've got this far. All of them are great. I take all of them seriously. Um, Esther did really well. And we have a defending champion from last year, so I'm intimidated by her too. Esther seems to have a lot of luck on her side. She always gets it right, whether she knows the word or not. I think she is a threat. I think it would be Vashwati, the reigning champion. I'm a bit scared of Vashwati because it's the second time I'll be pitted against her in two years. And the last time I well, she chewed me up, so, but I guess I'll just try my best. God bless you, Anaga, and wish you the very good. Enjoy, Enjoy the competition. competition. Give it to your best. God bless. Ashwati, on a connection All the best, Soumya. Congratulations to all four of you for making it to the finals. You're the country's top spellers. 2014 has been an iconic season for classmates Belby. Along with being at their competitive best, the participants have also shown great maturity and demonstrated the right balance between competitiveness and spirit of camaraderie. The Times of India recognizes the spirit that is best embodied in you. The top four spellers of the country are grand finale finalists and hereby awards each of you with a medal of honor. Many congratulations. <laughs> Our first medal goes to Soumya Malhotra from DPS Vasant Kunj in New Delhi. Congratulations. 
The second medal goes to Esther David from the Cathedral and John Collins School in Mumbai. Congratulations and all the best. The third medal goes to Anagha Seturaman from Maharishi Vidya Mandir Senior Secondary School in Chennai. And our fourth medal goes to Vasuki Das from Gurukul Grammar Senior Secondary School in Guwahati. Second medal for you. Congratulations. All the best. And now, without any further ado, let's get on with the game. Welcome to our spellers today and welcome to the families. It's so nice to see all of you back here today. It's an important day for you. There's a lot to play for. It's not only this beautiful trophy. It's not only a cash prize of two lakh rupees courtesy classmate. It's also chance to witness the Scripps National Spelling Bee in Washington, D.C. And also the glorious title of Spell Bee Champion 2014. So there's a lot at stake. So let's get things buzzing. So briefly, let me explain the rules of round one to you again, even though you're familiar with it. I will ask each of you a series of four words to spell with increasing levels of difficulty, but increasing points awarded for every word spelled correctly. You can, of course, ask me for clues. Those clues include the definition of the word, part of speech, the origin of the word, and usage in a sentence. This year, we've added something special, something you've already experienced, which is your Classmate Connect option. So if at any time in round one or round two you feel stumped, you can ask me, I will connect you to your classmates. They will have 30 seconds to confer and then spell the word out for you. Among the classmates, we have with us Samvida Venkatesh, Kavya Munidhar. Hi. And a very warm welcome for last year's finalist, Mahashweta Chakravarti. Hi. All right, we we'll begin round one and we'll play at first. Let's welcome to the podium Soumya Malhotra from Delhi Public School, Vasant Kunj in Delhi. Soumya, how are you feeling? I'm nervous. <laughs> it's the finals. This is the moment that counts. Yes, it is. So you've met all your contestants today. You know what the competition is like. But do you feel that you have a USP or something that makes you stand apart? I think so far we've all been deemed equal, but you know, it's it's pretty tough competition. They're all brilliant. And um, I always have my hopes up. Your family is with you here today. Welcome to the show. We'll begin round one with you. Your first word to spell is for five points. That word is step. Could I have the meaning, please? A large area of flat, unforested grassland in Southeast Europe or Siberia. Could I have the language of origin, please? It is of Russian origin. Okay, step. S-T-E-P-P-E. -E. Step. Absolutely correct. You're off to a good start. You have five points. Your next word is for ten points. That word is culottes. Culottes. That's correct. Could I have the meaning, please? Women's knee-length trousers cut with full legs to resemble a skirt. Could I have the language of origin, please? It is Latin via French. Culottes. C-U-L-O-T-T-E-S. Culottes. Absolutely correct! You have 15 points. Your third word is for 15 points. That word is Sirocco. Sirocco. Could I have the meaning, please? A hot, dusty wind blowing from North Africa to Southern Europe. And could I have the language of origin, please? Arabic via Italian. Sirocco. S-I-R. O C C O. That is absolutely spot on yet again. 30 points are yours. Only one word left to spell in round one. Will it be a perfect score of 50? We hope so. You still have your Classmate Connect option intact if you wish to use it. Your fourth word to spell for 20 points, Somya, is canard or canard. Okay, um, can I have the meaning, please? An unfounded rumor or story. Uh, could I have the language of origin, please? It is of French origin. C-A-N-N-A-D-E. Canard. I'm afraid that's incorrect. The accurate spelling of canard is C-A-N-A-R-D. 
I'm afraid that means we cannot give you points for that. But at the end of round one, a difficult round one, you have a solid score, Somia, of 30 points. Well played. Thank you. Let's welcome now to the podium our second contestant, Esther Larissa David from the Cathedral and John Collins School, Mumbai. Your middle name is Larissa? Yes. We just found that out. So who named you? My mum and dad. Hello, mum and dad. Hi. And there's someone else. How are you? I'm feeling great and I am so happy that my sister has made it so far. Do you want to say anything else to encourage your sister? There are quite a few people backing you. <laughs> you do have a majority backing you. There are three in your family. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful words. Yeah. All the very best. We'll begin round one with you. Your first word to spell is for five points. And that word is, there are two pronunciations, acru and acru. May I have the definition, please? The light fawn color of unbleached linen. May I have the language of origin, please? It is of French origin. Ecru. That is correct. E C C R U E. I'm afraid that's incorrect. The accurate spelling is E C R U. There are many more points to be scored, so we'll forget about that one and we'll move swiftly ahead. And I'll also remind you, you do have a Classmate Connect option if you wish to use it. For 10 points, your word to spell is deaerate. May I have the definition, please? Remove dissolved air from a substance. D E A E R A T E. Very tentative, but correct! <laughs> Ten points are yours. You're off to a start. Two words left. Your third word is for 15 points, Esther, and that word is kookaburra. As in the Australian bird. That's right. K O O K A B U R R A. Absolutely spot on! Sometimes knowing the word doesn't help you spell it, and it's a tricky one, but you spelt it correctly, which gave you 15 more points. Your total is now at 25. It's also called the laughing jackass. It comes from the native Australian language, Viraduri, where it was called the Gugubara. Your final word in round one is for 20 points, Esther. That word is communique. May I have the definition, please? An official announcement or statement, especially one made to the media, communique. May I have its usage in a sentence, please? Of course you may. The media were informed through a communique that the emperor was getting new clothes for his birthday. Which part of speech is it? It is a noun. C O M M I N Q U E. I'm afraid you missed that. It's incorrect. The accurate spelling of communique is C-O-M-M-U-N-I-Q-U-E. So a bit like communication towards the end when it becomes a little French and it goes into the Q-U-E space. So I'm afraid we cannot give you points for that. But at the end of round one, Esther, you have a score of 25 points. Well played. <laughs> Do you know the Romans had a word for mouse that they used to name something in the human body? because it happened to resemble a mouse running around under your skin. I hope guesswork is one of your strengths, because it will take quite a leap of imagination to get this one. 